What is up, film geeks? My name is Trevor, and welcome to my channel. Today, I am sharing with you my top 10 favorite comic book movies of all time from DC to Marvel. The top 10 best, aka my top 10 favorite, are going to be on this list with quite a bit of honorable mentions. Let me know your list down below in the comment section. And before we get into the ranking, hit that like button and that subscribe button. Let's do this. <laughs> So starting off with our honorable mentions, we're just going to rant these off really quick. We have Zack Snyder's Justice League, aka the Snyder Cut, Man of Steel, Deadpool, the original Spider-Man, and X2 X-Men United. All movies that almost made this list, and sometimes they're in this list as well. With that said, let's hop into the top 10. Starting things off right at number 10 is going to be one of my favorite animated movies of all time, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales might just be my favorite Spider-Man, but this is such a different and unique Spider-Man movie that we've ever seen before. There's so many different Spider-Mans that get brought into this movie, but just the animation and storytelling style alone makes this movie exactly what it is. You have great villains, you have great voice casting, you have such a unique and distinct style with a killer soundtrack really makes for this movie just be an awesome fun time and the animation style might be a little hard for some people to get invested into but after you accept the animation style and exactly how unique and creative they're going with it i think everyone can get on board and really agree this is one of the best spider-man movies of all time and it's one of my favorite comic book movies of all time. At number nine, Logan. One of the most brutal and gruesome comic movies you will ever see. But Hugh Jackman as Wolverine gets his proper send off with this movie. And he does not go out without a bang. This movie is gruesome. It is brutal. It has some of the most gory and crazy kills. But you get to see Hugh Jackman and Wolverine walk off into the sunset. Finally, after all these years, he gets to retire as this character. And it's done so well by James Mangold. And you have James Stewart reprising his role as Professor X. And his banter back and forth with Logan through throughout the movie it's really what carries this movie along nicely it's funny it's brutal it's gruesome and overall it is an awesome badass movie that easily should have been nominated for best picture james mangold i cannot wait to see him do a comic book movie again at number eight is going to be captain america civil war aka avengers 2.5 this movie is a culmination of basically everything before infinity war and endgame our avengers are turning on each other with the best marketing ever a team iron man are you team cap let me know which team are you down below in the comment section I'm constantly changing. I like to say I'm Team Or, but you have Team Cap and Team Iron Man. Whose side are you on? Both of them have good, valid reasons for being right, but whose side are you going to pick? That's what's so divisive and amazing about this movie. And this movie pulls the emotions out of you from our characters fighting to our characters having those deep, kind of sad conversations. And people we've seen as friends fight together are now fighting against each other over one character in specifically and one person pulling all the strings against the Avengers together. This movie's brutal, it's emotional, and it will rip your heart out all over again. At number seven, X-Men Days of Future Past. This movie is done greatly just because of the time travel aspect, and I love time travel in movies, and this movie executes it to a T. My favorite part about this movie, because there's so many great things about it, is seeing a young Charles Xavier and an older Charles Xavier actually interact. That's what gets me going when I watch this movie. That's why I love this movie so much, and just the way they tell the story and how Hugh Jackman Wolverine is the forefront of this. He's kind of the leader of the X-Men, talking to a young punk Charles Xavier to tell him that you you sent me from the future. I need your help to stop the Sentinels from ever being made. And Peter Nichols actually plays a pretty good convincing villain and Michael Fassbender is absolutely fantastic as he always is. But this movie is the best of the prequel trilogy for the X-Men movies. I love Days of Future Past so much. It's easily one of the best comic book movies of all time. At number six, going to be the original, The Avengers. Hearing the Hulk scream and roar, that's my secret captain. I'm always angry. Got me so excited, screaming, jumping out of my chair as a kid watching this. And this is the first movie I saw three times in theaters, and I have loved it ever since. Loki's a great villain, getting introduced to all of these characters together on screen for really the first time together. Makes this movie what it is. It's the first big superhero team movie, and it's still one of the best. Breaking us into the top five is going to be Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight, a different kind of comic movie with Heath Ledger's villain basically stealing the entire show. Christopher Nolan crafts such a great sequel and one of the best Batman movies of all time, but having such a good villain like Heath Ledger makes this movie as good as it is. Even though he's not on screen all that much, when he is, he captivates you and you don't think The Dark Knight without thinking The Joker. At number four, Avengers Endgame. The culmination of the Infinity Saga brought to the big screen with the stakes at an all-time high. We saw how it happened in the Infinity War. How are they going to tell this story in a convincing, compelling way in three hours? And they somehow nail it. But the end battle, the last hour, it just makes this movie what it is. The first two hours is really good and convincing as well with a nice time travel, lots of awesome different side quests everyone goes on. That last hour is as epic as a finale can be and as epic as you want in a finale. There's no denying that Avengers Endgame is literally the epitome of the word 
epic. At number three is going to be a very recent movie, The Batman. What Matt Reeves did with this movie is something so different and so unique, and it's made me love it all that much more. You have the world's greatest detective actually being portrayed as the world's greatest detective in this movie. Robert Pattinson has shut down all the haters, and he is Bruce Wayne, but he really is the Batman, my favorite Batman we have ever gotten on screen. I've seen this movie three times since it came out in theaters, and I cannot wait to go back and rewatch it again. The long Halloween brought to the big screen. Sign me up every damn time. At number two is going to be Spider-Man No Way Home. Again, maybe a little bit of recency bias, but this is my favorite Spider-Man movie, and Spider-Man is my favorite superhero of all time, and this movie just screams nostalgia when you get Toby and Andrew back on the big screen, but the amount of emotions that get poured out of you through Tom Holland in this movie is really what makes me love it so much. I think how bad Tom Holland gets hit and down, knocked down so many times throughout this movie, that it makes you relate to this character that he is a superhero, but things do happen to him, from the loss of Aunt May to basically everyone in his life forgetting who he is. This poor kid is broke with no friends. He's about to go to college. Come on, this movie is convincing, it's beautiful, it's brutal, and Tom Holland absolutely shines to the absolute maximum throughout this movie. It's epic, it's amazing, it's honestly perfect, but there's only room for one, number one, and it is my favorite movie of all time, Avengers Infinity War. This movie is the first time we've ever seen a villain win, and I'm here for that every damn day of the week. Thanos is the best cinema villain of all time, in my opinion, but seeing our Avengers having to kind of work together without knowing they're really working together is what I really love about this movie, that Captain in America is in Wakanda, and then Thor comes out of Wakanda, and Thor's entrance is epic, but then to Iron Man and Spider-Man, Dr. Stranger teaming up with the Guardians out on Titan, there's so many different quests going on, but this movie is non-stop action, there's literally like three minutes when there is an action, this movie from the very jump in the very opening scene with Loki, Heimdall, and the entire Asgardian ship just getting destroyed, and Hulk getting his ass beat, it sets a tone for this movie, Thanos is here, and Thanos is coming, it is my favorite comic movie of all time, it is my favorite movie of all time, let me know your top 10 favorite comic movies down below in the comments section, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, thank you guys so much for watching, lots more videos coming this week, I'm excited for all of it, I'll see you guys very soon.